There is an ever-growing number of productivity apps and systems that promise to be the solution to all of your productivity problems. I have experimented with hundreds of these apps, and many have useful features, but nothing ever ticks all of the boxes. In order to get the setup we want, we're forced to use one app for tasks, a different app for calendar, and yet another app for notes. Wouldn't it be nice if you could handle all the different parts of your life in a single location? I've wanted to have something like this myself for years, and about a month or two ago, I set about building a all-in-one productivity system inside of my favorite notes app, Obsidian. There are three main components to a productivity system. Tasks, notes, and calendar. I made sure as I was building out my system to incorporate these components. So here we are inside of my prototype vault. I use this vault to test out different features for my system, and then once I'm ready to start using them, I copy them over to my main vault. So I wanted to start off by talking about the folder structure that I have for my system. I have a templates folder that has a bunch of different templates that I use, uh, different note types, so sources for uh, notes like if I'm watching a video, I do a video note and that just puts in like a tag that helps me to categorize the different notes. I also have a project template and a YouTube video template. I also have a utilities folder. Inside of this folder are a bunch of different files that I use for different purposes inside of the system. I also have a folder for the year. Now, I just started this system this year, so I only have one for this year so far. Inside of the year folder, I have a folder for each of the months of the year. And inside each of those, I have my daily note uh, that I'll be going over in, in detail. And inside uh, also I have a monthly log note that will have tasks that I want to complete for that month. Also inside of the year folder I have a future log that I can look at. A future log is a concept from the bullet journal. Uh, inside of here I can see the months of the year that are coming up and I can put tasks into those months. Uh, that I know that I need to get done those months. These are pulled in from the month folders. So I can go here uh, to this May 2024 one. I can actually double click this, go and visit that month, and I kind of drill down into that month. Also, I have all of the notes, all of the projects, everything that I create inside of this year go into that year folder. When 2025 comes around, I will change the default place where new notes are created to the 2025 folder and then everything for 2025 will go into that folder. I use the bookmarks feature as kind of a index kind of idea. Like in the bullet journal, you have a, a page at the beginning that where you have where each of the things are located inside of your notebook. So I've got a couple of different groups. I've got dashboards, tasks, and then the year, the current year. The dashboards, I've got a dashboard for YouTube and projects. Different utility files that I have inside the utilities folder are linked in under this tasks. The way that I am dealing with tasks, there's a tasks plugin that allows you to be able to take anything that has a checkbox next to it becomes a task in this system. And you can make queries to pull those tasks into different places. We can go to my daily note. There are queries that I have done on this daily note that will pull in different tasks based on different criteria. So this overdue section, this will show me anything that hasn't been completed but that was scheduled before the current day and then that will show up here as you can see that I have this task about custom collections that I haven't done yet then I have things that are scheduled for today and here's the, the query for that and I have different groupings I can group things based on the tags that they have and I've also grouped them depending on whether they're in progress whether they are still yet to be done I then have a section for the tasks that were completed today so another plugin that I am using to help me manage things is a plugin called Day Planner. What this does, I 
can open up my sidebar here and what this does is it gives me a timeline of the day. It allows me to be able to schedule tasks uh, and time block them and, and put them throughout the day. So you can see here I've got this calendar as well. This plugin also allows me to be able to integrate with my Google Calendar so I can see what meetings I have throughout the day and then I can plan my tasks around them. So let's say I want to do the dishes. I want to do that around, let's say, five o'clock after work is done. I can hit the edit button next to a task. When they're being pulled in via a query, it gives you an edit button that you can pull up this editing window. In order to time block something in the day planner, I add a timestamp at the beginning of the task title. So I want to do this at five o'clock. So it's done by 24 hour time. Five o'clock is going to be 1700 hours. So 17 to, let's say it'll take 30 minutes to do the dishes. So I add that timestamp at the beginning, hit apply, and now that shows up in my timeline on the side. I have this hour conversion chart that I created. I just have a link to it and then I can pull it up and I can look, I can quickly go, okay, 1700 hours is 5 p.m. At the bottom of this uh, daily note file, I have quest logs. And what this is, is I like to track how long things are taking me. So whenever I'm sitting down to maybe write a YouTube script or working on my gamified task manager app that I'm building, I'll sit down I'll turn on a timer and I will track how much time I'm taking. The time right now is 12.24. I filmed my productivity system video and I can say my time spent was 30 minutes or whatever, however long it took. So this is a template that I have in my templates folder. I'm using the Daily Notes plugin. It's a core plugin for Obsidian. I also have the Daily Note open when I when I start up Obsidian, so that's the first thing that I see, and I can jump right into the tasks for the day. So let's talk about those utility files that I have. Let's start with the, the ones that are bookmarked. I have a tomorrow file that does a query that gets me all the tasks that I have for tomorrow. I have this so that I can schedule out the tasks for the next day, add the timestamps to them. This week helps me to see what's coming up at a quick glance in the week. I also have my weekly review list with links to the different uh, notes that are inside so that I can quickly go to the different areas that I want to as I'm doing my weekly review. Anytime gives me an overview of all the tasks that are in my vault that I have not yet assigned a date to. Another utility I have that are recurring tasks. You can set tasks to come around have, you know, every once in a while, go into the editing window. You can have it recur every week, every other week, every year. When you complete one of these, it marks it as complete and then it creates a new instance of that task right above it with the new date based on that criteria that you entered in for it to recur. I have an inbox file that allows me to be able to quickly add tasks that I haven't quite sorted yet. I don't know where they're gonna go yet. And then I have a projects file. This is a canvas file that I use to be able to manage all the different projects that I have. I've got a couple of projects that I've just kind of entered in here. I have two different sections. These sections are based on the recommendation from Cal Newport in his new book, Slow Productivity. He says you should have a list of projects that are not quite active yet, the holding tank he calls it. So these are things that I haven't started working on yet. And then you have a list of the active projects that you're working on. He suggests not allowing it to exceed three projects at a time. So I put a little reminder of, for that myself. Right now the project I'm working on is this YouTube video. I have uh, two different tags in here to kind of help me to sort things. Brings me to my YouTube dashboard, which is a kind of a subset of projects that I've got going on. I have a column where I put all of the ideas that I have for YouTube videos, the ones that are in progress, and then the ones that are published. If I want to add a new idea, I just create a new file. New YouTube idea and then I can 
add a YouTube video template that I have. And then when I go back to my YouTube dashboard, I now see that that is in the ideas column and that is based on this tag that is in the top. As mentioned before, any notes, any files that I create for the year go inside of the 2024 uh, or the year, the current year folder. So if I have an idea of something that I want to write about, I can just hit new, uh, new idea that goes into the 2024 folder and I can write about it. It was a very quick whirlwind uh, tour of what I've set up for my all-in-one productivity system. This is very much still a work in progress. If there's anything that you feel like I missed in my system, please comment below, or if there's anything you want me to go in more in depth in a future video. In the meantime, if you're looking for more Obsidian goodness, you can check out my Obsidian for Beginners series.